Okay, I'm gonna go over some of the basics for um, options, some of the terminology that you'll see in a lot of the strategies that we do. So we're just gonna look at Apple stock in this case. And let's say that we think that Apple will continue to go down in price, as you can see in the last few days. It's been going down quite a bit. It's near 171, and right now it's around 158. So if you think it's gonna continue going downward, what you could do is buy a put option. Now the options for puts are, essentially you're gonna be agreeing to sell 100 shares of stock at a certain price, and that's called the strike price. And then ideally you want the stock to go down even more because then you could essentially buy the shares at the lower price and then sell them at the agreed upon strike price. So right now you can see it's around 157 and change or so. If you go to the trade tab for Apple, we were looking around 52 days out. The put options are on the right side of this chart. So let's think we're thinking Apple's going to keep going down. What you do is buy a put option at the 155 strike price. Now in order to do that, it's going to cost you $550 approximately to be able to control 100 shares of stock. Now, if Apple continues to drop and it goes to say 100, then this 155 strike price is gonna be worth a lot of money because then you can essentially buy the shares at 100 and then sell them at the 155 and make a large profit. Now, you notice it's $550 in order to buy this option. What you could also do is sell these options. By selling an option, you're essentially gonna be taking in the $550 in premium instead of buying it and using that money up, okay? Now this is called a cash secured put because you're gonna be putting up the amount of money in the strike price, in this case it's 155 times 100 shares. So this will be a lot of money, about $15,500, but you'd be able to receive or take in $550 on that position. So again, a put option is agreeing to sell at a certain price, and these are called the strike prices. And then you'll be able to essentially control those 100 shares of stock. Now, we usually like to sell options instead of buy them because there's a pretty good chance that it's not going to continue to drop much further than where it is. And then let's say that it, Apple ends up being a little bit above 155 on an expiration date. In this case, it's 52 days. In that case, you'll be able to keep the $550, and it's called your premium. And then the option would be worthless because obviously if it's more than 155, let's say it's still at 158, you're not going to want to sell them at 158 and buy at 155, right? So in that case, you would be able to keep 100% of that premium.